It's hailed as a historic agreement between the U.S. and China, a pledge for the U.S. to further cut greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2025. I commend President Xi, his team, and the Chinese government for the commitment they are making to slow, peak, and then reverse the course of China's carbon emissions. China's part of the deal appears less definitive, a target date of 2030 for a peak in carbon dioxide emissions earlier if possible, something leaped on by Republicans who last week won both houses of Congress. The agreement requires the Chinese to do nothing at all for 16 years uh, while these uh, carbon emission regulations are creating havoc in my state and other states around the country. Eastern Ohio Representative Bill Johnson says the two nations have made it easier and less economically painful for China to meet its stated goals. China is putting up a new coal-fired power plant every nine days. And, no, and nothing in this agreement requires them to do anything about carbon emissions until 2030. And with the new Republican majority coming next year, Johnson's counterpart from across the Ohio River believes it's unlikely the Senate will ratify the agreement. They couldn't pass it this year, they wouldn't pass it, and they won't be able to pass it next year. So this sets the stage for the president uh, to use executive order uh, uh, to force America uh, to make some reductions. Aside from the opposition from local Republicans, China's part of the agreement is the first time it has agreed to any kind of a deadline for its emissions to be reduced. Todd Boucher, WTAP News. Others weighing in on the agreement, including U.S. Senator Joe Manchin. He's encouraged the Chinese are coming to the table on the climate change and that President Obama has realized the need to invest in research and clean fossil fuel technology. But Congresswoman and Senator-elect Shelley Moore Capito says the agreement will damage the American economy. Capito points out the legislation she introduced blocking U.S. greenhouse gas rules until major foreign nations agreed to the same standards applied to America. She notes a similar bill passed the Senate more than 15 years ago. And turning to national